Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. It is boot camp. We have eight moves today. Each move is for one minute. Yes, I said one minute. We're gonna take 15 seconds break in between and we're gonna do three rounds. Yes, I said three rounds, so get ready. Grab some heavier weights here because I really want you to max out. This is a full body. Give me all that you got. We should be in and out of here in less than 35-ish minutes, right? So we're gonna warm up, get into the workout, and if you haven't yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Roll your shoulders back, set that intention. We're gonna have an awesome workout. We're gonna be starting with a light jog, or if you need to, you can march it out. So go ahead and start that jog. In your jog, brace your core, have athletic arms. As you get warmer, you can start to bring the heels to the butt just a little bit more. Give me some good movement in those arms, get those shoulders ready to go. Jumping jacks, you can either tap it out or go for the big jack. Getting ready for a shuffle. Let's start to one side of the mat. Nice little shuffle. You can add a little knee. Light on the feet. And I'm sure if you need any other modifications, I got Anna back here today, oh. <laughs> right? Burpees, just gentle. So first start with a squat, step or hop, then step or hop front and up. So just a nice, easy burpee because they are in the workout today. So when I think about creating a boot camp class, I think about just taking it up one more level, right? Ooh. A lot of the moves are big full body movements today. All right, we're gonna stay in that plank. Give me a push up and then open up to the side. Back down, knees or toes, push up other direction. Warm up the arms, the chest, the core. Up on the feet, little one, two, three, little Heisman, one, two, up. All right, roll the shoulders back. You need a little stretch in that waist, that low back, take it. And we're getting ready for our first move. Woo. I'm gonna be using 15 for this movement. We start with the feet wide. You drop first and then curl, then stand up, release. You gotta squeeze your butt though, especially on the release of the weight. Here we go. Squat, curl, stand up. Try to drop that butt to knee height or below the knees. And when you stand up, you have to brace your core. You almost hold your breath in that transition. And you can vary how you pull the weight up. It could be hammer curl, it could be palms up. But when you pull it up, I want you to squeeze all the way in those arms as you rise up. Feel the difference there. So 
We have just a few more seconds. Push up. We gotta push up with a tuck, or actually you can do a beast. Walk, Anna's gonna show you the options, so push up, hop the feet forward, hop the feet back, or Anna's gonna walk it, right? Here we go, drop in the push up, hop or step the feet forward and back. In the push up, if you need to, drop one or two knees. Could even just be one knee drive. But get a great range of motion here. Working on some endurance today for that whole minute. Ooh, yes. Ten seconds. Woo, okay, ISO lunge. Yes, I said ISO. I'm gonna be using a 12. My left, sorry, my right leg is gonna be forward. Your right leg. You're gonna hold a lunge and give me a press. Oh, this is gonna be fun, right? Your other arm, wherever you want it to go. It be on your hip. So strength and stillness. Think of that. And then, because a minute can be long, if you feel like it's too much, right, come out of it for a minute, and then come back. Because we want to struggle. <laughs> really push it up. And then you get an option here. Stretch through your front of your leg here, that opposite side. Press it up, come on. Can you drop that leg down a little bit more? Last few seconds here, 10 to go. Woo! First you're like, oh, ISO lunge, I can do that. All right. Oh yeah, that leg's feeling good. So switch that leg, <clears throat> switch that arm. Fist is up by the shoulder, feet are separated. Ready? Drop it. Go for that press. Feels a little easy now, right? Woo. Huh. So check your posture here. Hey, you can always video yourself. Check your posture, get a mirror. Just gonna turn to the side so you see the angles that we're really looking for here. Two 90 degree angles. And then you gotta get in the mindset, right? Yes, the struggle's gonna be here today. But just think you'll be done in around 30 minutes. Ooh, 10 seconds. Ooh, three. All right, we're gonna go into Renegade Rows. We got four rows, and then we're gonna step forward and come on up. So we're in that plank. We're gonna row for four, and it's gonna stay standing. Then we just stand up. Renegade Row, you could be on your knees. Whew. Butt is at shoulder height. Shoulders shine down. Squeeze your butt a little bit here. I'm using 12s. Woo. Do what you can. All right, we got 10 seconds, you guys. Ooh. 
We are up. Actually, you can stay down. We're gonna do skull crushers. I'm gonna stick with my 12s this first round. Go ahead and lie down on your back. Extend the arms and legs up. And as you bend the elbows, see if you can drop your legs to add some core activation. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna drop one leg and then the other. Make sure the movement happens from the elbows for those triceps to really engage. And then do what's right for your body. So if your back is feeling anything, put the feet down. But brace the core. And you can vary your hand position. You can have pinkies in, palms face straight back, or even the other direction. Take a nice inhale as you lower, exhale as you pull everything back up. And then you do what your body needs today. So if you need to keep those feet down, keep them down. But if you can, I want you to engage more of that body. Whew. This is gonna be feeling really good. Now we got some burpees to do. It, try to do some variations on your burpee. You can squat lunge. You could go into a turn, like a jump turn, right? So you squat, shoot back. Shoot up. You don't even have to jump at the top. You can do a little jack. You can do a quick switch in the legs. So again, switch it up a little bit. If you need to do a little lunge, need a little breather, right? Catch it, come back. You can touch the chest to the ground, do a hand release. I love that one too. Three seconds. All right, on your back, Woo. Okay, bicycle. Come on that back, settle that back into the mat. And then when you're ready, just hug the knees in for a little bit. Get that back grounded and let's get ready. All right, start that rotation. Nice twist, get that elbow to the inside of the knee and lift your shoulder blades off that mat. Now. You can go on a fast bike ride or you could slow it down, depends on you. But I like this pace because it's gonna keep our heart rate up and we're gonna really burn through that core. Try to get those legs low to the ground. Come on, a nice rotation. Big twist, keep the shoulder blades up. Keep that speed, just a few more seconds to go. All right, you got three, two. Woo. All right, hug the knees in and rock yourself up. We're gonna go into round two. Uh, whew. 20 seconds, back into your squat curl. Again, we're gonna drop your butt, then curl it up. Guys, you got 10 seconds to get ready. Use everything in your midsection to help you with this. All right, you get some ab and butt here. Here we go. Squat, curl. What I say now, squeeze all the way in the bicep as you rise up. You can get more out of it. Efficiency and effectiveness with this workout here. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. But we do have a whole minute, right? To really activate those biceps, your legs, your butt. Keep your eyes up, especially when you're 
coming up to standing. Ten seconds. Alright, push up with a hop or a beast. Whew. Okay, get those arms ready. You guys ready? Here we are. Plank position, push it up, walk the feet forward or hop them. When you're hopping or walking, use the core to move and keep your hips low. When you shoot the legs back, brace the core for a moment. It should be braced the whole time. Oh. Take options, you could do push up one knee in. So lunge with that shoulder press. I know you're thinking in your head, I'm gonna go a little less. Try not to, right? See if you can stay with that same weight. Let's do left leg forward this time, right? Yeah, let's try, switch it up. Because usually what happens, you're kind of pre-fatigued when you get to that second side. Drop that back knee. All right, over halfway there on this leg. And your arm, come on. Press it up. If you need to, you could always move. If you feel like you need a break, take it. Ooh. Ooh. All right, super. Switch that leg. Thank you. All right. See how your heart rate's up? We didn't move very much. Keep your feet separated, step it back. Bend your knees, press it up. So you saw your arms could be here, or if it gets a little tired, wherever you want to put it. Try to drop that knee and sink into that 90 degree angle. Woo. Thirty seconds out of this. Come on. Woo. Drop it, sink it. Oh my goodness, right? Eight seconds. Woo, my legs are on fire. Fought with my arm. Renegade row. I'm gonna stay with my 12, four rows, and then hop or step those feet forward and back. Get in your plank, guys. Row for four. My feet are open. Drop your butt before you come up. Come on, pull those elbows up. And in. Halfway there. Woo. 
Come on, give me one more. Great job. Skull crushers. I'm gonna keep my 12s. Come on, your back. Add some kind of leg movement if you can. Come on, struggle it. All right, you guys, here we go. Get ready, start those skull crushers and add that leg drop. I really want you to push try to get to the next level, right? We're never gonna get there if you never give it an opportunity. So bend everything and extend it up. I'm turning my hands to face the other direction. So my hands face my feet. Lock in your elbows, tighten it up, and use those triceps, use that core. And when you start to struggle, I need you to brace something even more. You guys, just three seconds. Two. Nice job. Oh, here's those burpees, remember. Vary it up, All right? You can go for some burpees that are a little faster. You can add a jump, you can add a turn. You can do a hand release. All the way down, I'm gonna do a little hand release. Yes is right. <laughs> Twenty seconds. doing good though finish this off because we've got that break Ooh. Wow. he's in let's go bring that elbow inside that knee give me a good pace remember this is a boot camp we are pushing it today I want you to get to that edge come on keep the tempo keep the legs low Keep the shoulder blades lifted. Maybe you can pick up that pace just a little bit here. Three seconds, two, come on, nice. All right, get yourself up, get some water. Woo, let's do it. Checking in with you guys. You guys are okay though? Woo. <laughs> uh, I know they're breathing. I can hear them breathing behind me. Woo, we got 15 seconds into that squat. Woo. Mm. No worries, Hannah's a heavy breather. Five seconds, you guys. Sumo position here. Squat curl. <laughs> Hold, press it up. You can come a little, a little late here. I'll let you go. All right, hold it. Okay, pay attention to your middle of your body, right here. Right? Yeah. You drop and you firm it all up. 
Brace. Oh. I'm just happy to be outside because if I was in the house, the sweat would be cool down there. Let's work at the eccentric, right? Release it with control. That's the eccentric. Muscle builds a lot there in eccentric. Five seconds. Push up Woo. with a tuck or a little beast walk. And you can make it a tuck, or sorry, a hop and a walk. Get in push up. Here it is. Drop it. No matter what you do with those legs, use your core to move them. And use the exhale. Try to do your hardest version until you really have to bring it down. Oh, Woo, my core and arms. Okay, ISO lunge. Woo. Let's start with this side again. Point of five. Woo. Get that lunge. Let's go. Press it up. Oh yeah, it's easy to drop that weight. What did you do? Just stay with it. Good. So here's another option. Ooh, that was not sweat. If you feel like you really need to, put that knee on the ground. But try to hover it. Push it up. Oh. And then press in that front heel. Really activate that quad. Good for strengthening around the knee for stabilization. Ooh. Not only my shoulder, my bicep. How about your bicep? You feel it too? Yeah. <laughs> 10 seconds. Ooh. Three, finish it off. Ooh. Nice job. Hey, I keep telling you guys, bring a buddy into your workout. Share this with them. You're gonna work much harder, right? You're not gonna give up. The struggle, right? We all struggle. Here we go, other leg. So help me out. Share, you could share my, the video. You tell your friends to subscribe, that helps me out, you guys. If you're watching this, yep, hit that subscribe button. Whew. Sink. Yeah, and let me know what you guys like. Whew. Every month I try to give you guys a great boot camp. These usually are a struggle. Come on, sink. Ooh, and sometimes whatever you did yesterday, you're gonna feel it too, so you gotta be ready for this. Ugh, first time through is kind of get to know this third rep, this third, third, third set gets a little bit harder. Come on, body. All right, it's Renegade Row, or stick with Anna. Oh, I'm gonna go for those 12s, I'm gonna keep my 12s. Get in plank if you can. Here we go. Row it up. Remember, it's four rows. Hop or step forward, take it up. Working back side the body here. I 
halfway there. I want a good range of motion here, not speed. Because you got a whole minute, right? Actually, five seconds. Oh. Skull crushers. Oh, now I'm sweating. Now it's dripping. Come on your back. Look at the ceiling. Skull crushers, let's go for it. No. If you're gonna do double leg, try to zip up those inner thighs, squeeze them together. This is the hardest version that you can do, so bending elbows and dropping legs at the same time. But again, if you need to, bend your knees, drop them to the ground, be careful in your back. Maybe when you come up, you're gonna reach for those feet just slightly, use a little, little bit more core. I want a nice range of motion in those arms. Really bend them back and then shoot them up as straight as you can at the top. We've got three seconds, two, done. Ooh, okay, let's do some burpees. Ooh. Burpees, change it, right? opportunity to kind of make it your own but guess what don't go for the easiest stuff here go for it try to do a couple too where you can release the chest I'm gonna cheer you on. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's do it. 15 seconds. Maybe a nice jump at the top. 10. Three seconds. Woo! Oh my gosh. Bicycle. You guys okay? You a little dizzy? Woo! Finish it up. On your back. Ooh, that's what I love. Go. Bring it. Let's go, guys. Come on. Stay lifted. Keep tapping that inside of the knee with that elbow so you can get the most out of this. Come on. Efficiency, effectiveness. Let's do it. I want you to tempo up if you can. I want a nice burn in that waist. Three seconds, push this, two, keep it to the end. Done! Woo! Oh my gosh. You did awesome, so oh, take a breather. Great job, yay. Woo, Woo. Right. you need that after that. Hug the knees into the chest. Oh, and a great low back stretch here. Oh my goodness, this is great. Oh. I need a stretch. So I'm gonna rock up, come onto my shoulder. Pull one foot back. So this is quad. I can have the toe on the ground. Lean into the hip. Oh. 
awesome job. You need to give somebody a pretend high five. <laughs> Woo. Deep breath here. Switch that leg. Things that can help you too. You know, if you're doing a lot of stretching and you don't feel like you're getting that flexibility, massage it, foam roll it can help. Massage gun, I have a review for a massage gun that I use probably every two to three days. All right, release. Keep yourself facing, we'll face the garage, you guys. Straddle stretch. Ooh. And then walk it out. And when you're stretching, you wanna to get to that like kind of edge of like, okay, oh. So even sometimes if you hold on to a dumbbell, right, or you use some traction on something, that can help you get a little bit on that little edge of, okay, feeling it. Bring those legs together. Take that front foot, cross it over, and then give it a hug so we get a twist. Stretching your hip. Oh. And you know, you actually did a lot of core today. When we're doing those push ups, the renegade rows, your burpees, even the ISO lunges. Switch the leg, twist it to the back, press it up. And then release. Oh, you guys, that is it. Great job today. Whew. We doing okay though back here? We're good? We survive? You survive? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stand up and do a big inhale and have some gratitude. Grateful to these guys for coming here today. Big inhale, reach it out, reach it up. Pull it out into your heart. Drop your chin, your chest. Mm. And release. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks for joining us. Whew. We'll see you back here again. Take care.